What is energy? Where does it come from? Not many of us sit around thinking about the energy we use. But this guy does. Perhaps it's not so much that we're going to replace fossil fuels with alternative energy, or we may not have that luxury. It may become in the future just having enough energy, period. We're often unaware of how much energy we use and where it comes from. Most of our daily needs are met through electricity in our homes and offices and gasoline in our cars. You know that to generate that electricity, someone is burning coal or natural gas to run the turbines in a power plant, and that will produce CO2. What if the energy infrastructure of modern society was taken away from us and we had to generate the energy ourselves for our daily needs? Would we be more aware of what we waste? What would a world without electricity look like? It might all boil down to <coughs> potatoes? Potatoes? We're going to do an experiment here. Take stored energy, release it, and I actually can, can do something else. But if we take water behind the dam, we lift water up, get some potential energy in the water, and then we let it fall to the bottom of the dam and go through a turbine. Basically, that water goes down and then it actually generates energy, mechanical energy, and spins the turbine. I'm going to turn you guys all into human power plants. How many times would a person need to lift a sack of potatoes, drop it, then retrieve it to expend the same amount of energy we consume through our normal daily activities. How much energy does a 60 watt bulb use in one hour? The equivalent of 6,500 potato lifts, about three hours of work. How about 60 minutes of Dancing with the Stars on a 32 inch LCD flat screen TV? Another 8,800 lifts, four hours. Oh Let's take our 20-minute hot shower to start the day. I would have to lift a five-pound sack of potatoes over one million times to heat the 800 pounds of water that shower would consume. I got 320,000 to do. Oh. But wait, when I have to provide all this energy myself to do these things, it takes longer for me to provide the energy than to do the activity. For my 20-minute shower, I need the water heated in 20 minutes not a month. Maybe I could get my friends to help generate the energy with me so I can deliver it at a greater rate. Then we could watch Dancing with the Stars while we were potato lifting in real time. Now, let me calculate how many friends I need to watch TV with me. If one person can generate the energy in four hours, four can do the same work in one hour. You know what that means? Four people are more powerful than one. This will be a piece of cake. After doing our potato lifting, we will all be ready for a shower. That should be a snap, right? Well, one person would take a month to generate the energy needed. Doing that in 20 minutes would be doing it about 2,000 times faster. So, I just need 2,000 friends and family out in the backyard to power my shower. Yikes! In the summer, when you have your thermostat set at 68 degrees and have all of your six TVs and four computers running, and your two iPhones charging, and those 150 watt bulbs blazing in the living room and bedroom, and you get the picture. Don't you think that you could cut that down a bit? For the shower, I could set a timer. Five minute out. shower. Definitely try to make sure all the lights are turned off. Our lifestyle is energy intensive, so it is important to be energy aware. Conserve what you can. Our power plants will burn less coal and natural gas, and that will produce less CO2. And after you do your part, we'll store the rest. Your potatoes. <laughs> All right. Quack, quack.